Our dungeon master tip is a new condition called fatigued from Galder's Gazetteer. Holy crap. Let's be honest. Exhaustion is a potent penalty. Galder's yeah. Gazetteer has a great alternative, a nice area in the middle. The new condition is called fatigued. It's a less harsh penalty than exhaustion, so the GM can more easily inflict this condition multiple times without creating major imbalances, which means character death in most cases. Uh, the rules for this condition can be used along with levels of exhaustion. However, a GM might decide to use fatigue instead of exhaustion for certain game mechanics. For example, a GM might find the use of exhaustion in the Path of the Berserker Barbarian's Frenzy feature too punishing. In this case, the GM can allow the player to suffer fatigue instead. Any effect that removes a level of exhaustion can end the creature's uh, fatigue. Also, finishing a long rest ends this condition. So, what is fatigued? Fatigued creatures suffer a minus two penalty of attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws, and uh, that use the ability corresponding to that creature's lowest ability score. That is intriguing. Uh, if an already fatigued creature suffers another effect that causes it to become fatigued, it suffers an additional minus two a penalty on the attack rolls, uh, ability checks, and saving throws that use the next lowest ability score, and so on up to all six ability stats. So the last one to be punished is your primary stat that you're most robust in. Um, ending this condition removes all penalties at once. So... If you're a barbarian, for instance, and your intelligence is your dump stat, when you get fatigued, the little bit of brain power you have is going to go right away. <laughs> um, and so I really think that this is a, a really cool mechanic that's kind of uh, in, in between the severity of exhaustion and, uh, you know, more punishing on a lot of the other features. Uh, what do you think, Brandon? I like the the idea, especially the uh, starting from the lowest to the highest as mm -hmm. you get more and more. Yep. But man, minus minus four, if that's a lot. Does, does that stack continuously? Like, does it end up being yes. minus six, six, six times by the third? But time? it only it affects different ability scores, except for your attack roll definitely uh, changes. So eventually, your attack roll will be so bad. Um, you might as well just take the dodge action. <laughs> it's going to be more effective. Uh, Mitchell says, I'd like Ouch. to see the effect like fatigued called wounded. A character would be affected by this uh, status when they take more damage than their con score in one hit. That seems like that would be pretty common at higher levels. So I think that would, that would definitely have to be a little more uh, design, uh, design robust. Uh, Ian, what do you think about this? I think the fact that it's easier to at least get rid of than, say, exhaustion is definitely a really nice bonus because exhaustion can definitely be punishing and can stack on itself and escalate very quickly. Yeah, I agree. And that's kind of why I included this because I really think that this is a, especially for the Frenzy Barbarian, this is a good alternative. Though I've been playing one in the Initiative and Intrigue uh, can't story uh, stream and it doesn't affect me as much as you would think, considering I frenzy every time I can in combat. <laughs> I like to choke some bitches. Uh, all right. So, I, <laughs> I think, Do you have anything to add, Brandon? Uh, nope. All right. That'll do it for our Dungeon Master Tip, Fatigue by Galder's Gazetteer. If you have not picked that up, that book is absolutely amazing. Has variants and rebuilds of many of the core classes, and they are pretty well designed and thoroughly playtested. So consider checking it out. Uh, <laughs>